Hi everybody, it's Carla here at Crochet CJ for episode 17. Um, mom, midwife, I'm a born again Christian and I love people enough to tell them that. We'll jump right in. Uh, Hermione Hat and Cowl. So I know I've talked about them, I know I've shown them before. The pattern is on Ravelry. It is uh, under Hermione, H-E-R-M-I-O-N-E, -E, named after Hermione Granger on Harry Potter. Um, Hermione Hat and Cal is what it's called. Um, my Ravelry name is Midwife CJ, so I guess you can check under that because it's in my store or whatever. It's a free pattern. You guys are more than welcome. Download it. It was not tested by anyone but me. It was not <laughs> tech edited. Um, that's why it's free because I didn't really, you know, other than my time and effort, I didn't, you know, spend money on it. Um, so you guys go for it. Um, and I'm more than happy to hear comments on, you know, if something's hard to understand, please contact me. Uh, my email is joyousmidwifecj at gmail.com. I always put that below my videos. Uh, you know, give, give me a shout out if you have questions or if there's something about it that you think is hard to understand, let me know. You know, of course, I did the pattern, so reading it to me is really easy. So you guys let me know uh, if I need to change something on it, and I will. Um, I've done a couple of more just kind of as-you-go patterns. I don't have them written up yet. One is the Mary's a Deer hat that I showed you guys last week. Um, when I get those written up and posted on Ravelry, I will let you know because, again, they're going to be free unless I just put an enormous time amount of time and effort and stuff into them. Sorry, my voice is kind of froggy today. And I'm going to irritate Haley and drink some coffee. As you can tell, midwife, I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, it's Saturday, February 16th. Hopefully this will get uploaded sometime today because it takes forever to upload these videos. I'm trying really hard to look at the camera. Somebody told me you got to look at your camera and to me my camera is right here. So I'm trying really hard to look at it, but it's just a little dot and I want to look at myself instead of at that dot. So I'm working on it guys. If I look away, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I don't because I'm finding it hard to look at the dot and that's okay. Um, so that's it. Uh, finished objects. I also made a shawl in a similar pattern um, to my Hermione Hat and Cal. I haven't finished it off just because I'm not sure. I think I want to do on the edge what I did at the beginning edge. Can you? I did front post, back post for my first two rows. My first row is double crochet and then I did front post, back post to kind of just give it some character on the edge and then the rest of it is double crochet single crochet you can't see it as well with the variegated as you can well actually I mean you can see it with that variegated but I don't know this is the same yarn as that uh, it's the Feza sugar cake yarn um, it's just in the purple colors but and look this is my stitch marker that Mary Grace sent me that I didn't even know was there until <laughs> like the second time I went to get tea out of that envelope I found it um, but this is a uh, doesn't have a point the shawl does not have a point it has a flat top and then it's tapered down the side you know and yes I did this because I had two cakes and I ran out and so I couldn't take it to a point I wanted it to be really big and it is really big really big I like it um, but um, I kind of like the fact that it doesn't have the point in the back because I don't feel it flopping against my back or whatever and I'm one of those people that wear shawls this way uh, I don't you know, a lot of people will wear them here, but that's why I wanted this to be really big because I wanted to wear it around my back. Um, anyway, if and when I write that pattern up, 
I will make sure it gets posted on Ravelry and I'll take pictures and things. Um, my other finished object is I have like five of these little bunny hats. They're just so cute. I need to wash them because of course they're made with acrylic and it's kind of stiff acrylic because it's um, anyway. They're from this book, Baby Hats. And the person who designed them was Anastasia Cruz, excuse me. But it's got all sorts of cute little hats in it. And of course, the bunny hat. Um, the yarn I used is Red Heart Super Saver White. Some of the hats are I Love This Yarn White from Hobby Lobby. And then the pink is Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver Perfect Pink. Um, I'm making those for April babies since it'll be Easter. So I'm, I'm making those to give out to my April babies uh, at work. Um, my joys in progress. Um, there is a very special baby that I am making a blanket for. This is <laughs> my wrinkled pattern. I bought this kit and, and the pattern came with it. Um, I got it from uh, Willow Yarns. This is how it's started out. You carry all of the yarn up the side because it's gonna be hidden by your, your um, border. And so I really like that because I'm not gonna have, you know, all I'm gonna have are these three ends here and then the three ends at the other end. You know, I'm only gonna have six ends to to weave in, so that's gonna be really nice. It's called the Josephine blanket, uh, the Josephine baby blanket, excuse me. The uh, the uh, pattern writer is Renee Iverson. Uh, it's The yarn is willow wash yarn in snow and granite and white, uh, I'm sorry, snow is the white one, granite is the gray one, and then little flower is the pink. So, and you can see those colors on the blanket. I don't need to show you the skeins because if I pick those up, they're all attached. <laughs> they're all attached to that blanket and it's going to go everywhere. Um, my other joy in progress, this is another baby blanket. There is no pattern. Again, made it up as I go along. The first row, I was going to do... Um, the herringbone but after I did the first row when I went to do the second and third rows it just didn't lay right so I just did herringbone for my first row and then I did half double crochet all the rest of it is half double crochet and I like it because it's going to be really dense um, and it's going to be a joy in progress until I find some more of this yarn I bought this yarn at um, Tuesday morning it's Bernat um, blanket yarn in lilac. I know they still make it and I just, they had some small skeins at, at Tuesday morning. I'm sure they were just overstocked from somewhere. And I thought that five of them was going to be enough, but it's really narrow. So I need to find some more so I can finish that. Um, and that's just a baby blanket because I wanted to play around with that stitch and I had that yarn. And so I did that. Um, Acquisitions, I do have acquisitions. Okay, so I ordered some Hobie yarn, H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Uh, they're based in Denmark. To me, it took forever for it to get here. In reality, it shipped on, one group shipped on January 31st, the other shipped on February 1st, January 31st and February 1st. Uh, the first shipment got here Monday or Tuesday, February um, 12th, and then yesterday on February 15th, the second one arrived. So, okay, it was two weeks. It took two weeks to get here, which is not an eternity, but you know, when you're waiting for yarn, um, so the first actually the first ones I got were the hurricane yarn and I know that um, Rose Likes Crochet has shown some of these it's this hurricane yarn 
Um, Hurricane yarn is 200 grams to 350 meters. It is 100% acrylic. Uh, it's like a, I don't know, I guess you'd call it a three, maybe. It's, it's not, you know, like a worsted or anything. I mean, it's going to be good to make stuff. So this color is, I had to write them down because they're not on the ball bands. It's just on the shipping label. This is Ocean. Really pretty blues. I got two of these. This one is Orchid. Really like that. See, Rose, Seta, Gypsy. Who are all my purple friends? <laughs> I think a lot of us like purple. Um, and I got three of these. I got two of the Ocean, three of the Orchid. And then the last one I got is called Summer. And it's just, I thought that would make a really pretty shawl or something and almost look like maybe not confetti necessarily, but just because lots of colors. Uh, and this one, I got three of the summers, you know, and I mean, 350 meters, I'm going to have plenty to make something good. Uh, the other order that I did, because they put them on this big sale for like, they were 15 and they put them on for nine. And so I ordered some. Um, the first one is Portland, which is these really beautiful aquas and grays and stuff. So this is lollipop yarn. Lollipop is 20% wool, 80% acrylic. Again, it is, I believe it's the same. Yeah, 200 grams is 350 meters. And to me, this one is a little bit, you know, a little bit thicker than that one. So to me, this would be like equivalent to a four or a worsted. Um, these yarns are designed in Scandinavia and made with a love, a little heart, in Turkey. <laughs> um, and they send a little... They sent, I don't know if it's because it was close to Valentine's that they sent a heart-shaped candy or what. They sent a little heart-shaped candy in each of the um, bags. They send them in these plastic bags. I ended up with four bags instead of just two. The next color, look at Rose. Rose wanted to see this one really bad. So this is another lollipop yarn. Um, and this color is... Austin. These lollipop yarns are named after U.S. cities. That's Austin. Let's see if I got that right. No. Yes, that one is Austin. Uh, and then the next one I got is Juno. And it's, um, it's more tealy blues and like there's kind of a navy looking color and then, you know, it's, it's more blues blues than the other one is more aqua and gray, but this one is all blues. And that one is called Juno. Um, I got three of the Portlands. I got two of the Austins. I got three of these Junos. And then this one I thought would make a beautiful baby blanket. This one is called... Boise. If everybody knows Boise, Idaho. But it's just really pretty pastels. You can see it's, I mean, it's, it's showing up pretty true to color on the camera. Maybe a little bit, you know, not quite as washed out or whatever, but it's really pretty. Anyway, and I got two of those, um, you know, and again, lollipop yarns. I just thought it might make a really nice baby blanket, but I don't know. Do you want to give a baby something with wool in it? Uh, okay, that might have to go into a hat and cow set. Anyway, those are my acquisitions that I purchased. My other acquisitions, I don't know if you want to call them that. Gifts, whatever. I got Valentine's cards. I got this really cute one from Melanie. It's stitched to my Lou. And it says, on Valentine's Day, a person should feel loved and special. 
you are loved you are special <laughs> happy valentine's day um you know i am i'm deeply ashamed that i did not get my act together and send out cards i did send out christmas cards to several people who do videos uh but I didn't do Valentine's cards. Maybe I'll get it together and send out St. Patrick's cards since I'm part Irish and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> um, and then the one from, this one is from Kayla at Mama Llama. Llama Mama. Everybody's always saying CJ Crochet instead of Crochet CJ, so I guess I'm entitled to say their names backwards too, right? And it says, friends like you make Valentine's extra sweet. Isn't that cute? I love the little birds and stuff. Anyway, that. I got Kayla's like Monday and then Melanie's didn't come till yesterday and I had already videoed I got Kayla's after I had already videoed you know showing off my robe sweater um, I'm reaching over to touch it because it's right here next to me um, so I got those and in you know I just again want to say how much I appreciate this Yarny family that I have uh, from being on YouTube. I mean, and even before I started vlogging and making these videos, uh, the people that I interacted with, you know, got to write letters to or send, you know, little things to and things like that and, you know, visit with them. It, it just means a lot to me this group of people and and I feel very fortunate to have found this community and this new family and and I love you all so much and I'm so happy that you're here um, and it's so fun to share with you and just to sit down and talk to you and and have a good time um, the last two things I want to talk about uh, 400 subscriber giveaway so I was talking last time that we were up around 375 or whatever. Well, we're over 400. Last time I looked, there were 413 <laughs> subscribers. So like I said, I'm not going to show you guys today what I'm going to put in the giveaway. I'm going to make a separate video and then I'll show it after the person who wins gets their prize. Um, just suffice to say, you guys know there's going to be some yarn in there. You know, there's going to be some stitch markers. You know, there's going to be some tea. Um, Maybe I'll find something surprising to put in there. Uh, I will um, draw for that, you know, do the random comment picker next week when I make my video. I know my videos are never like on a certain day of the week because I work different hours and, you know, sometimes I am not up early enough to do a video before I go to work and things like that so sometimes I make them on my days off so just when I make my video next week you know like today is Saturday but you know sometime during the next week between now and oh no I won't because I'm actually going to Indiana next week um, okay so if I can make a video while I'm in Indiana I don't know I'm going to visit my son I don't know how his Wi-Fi is if I can make a video there, I will make a video and do the random comment picker. If I can't, then I'll have to do it like on a week from Monday, um, which today is the 16th. That'll be the 25th. So if not before the 25th of February, on the 25th of February, I will make a, even if it's just to get on there and do the random comment picker, it should be, I can do a whole thing because I am going to be off that day. Um, I will do it by the 25th. So all you got to do, you got to be subscribed, you know, cause I only want my real subscribers, the people who put up with listening to me <laughs> go on and on and on and on and on and show off all my fun stuff. Um, I want those people to be the ones that, that win the giveaways and so you have to be a subscriber you have to like this video uh, and then you have to uh, just make a comment below you know you can comment on anything you don't have to say anything specific um, and we'll do that by the 25th I may go more than a week without a video again like I did while I was waiting to finish my sweater 
The other thing I want to talk about is the Zoom meetings, you know, the Zoom chats that we've been having with the Yarny people. And you know, guys, I know that most of you are aware of this. It's not just people who make videos or people who have channels that make videos. It's anybody who can get on Zoom, you know, any of you people who are involved in the fiber community that want to get on there and visit with us. You don't have to have a channel. We've got a couple of ladies that they're just big supporters of this community insofar as you know they make a lot of comments and they interact with us that way and stuff and so you guys are more than welcome uh, to get on those live chats there it's like doing one of these live except we get to see everybody's face because everybody's on their zoom um, and there are ways to do it where you don't have to show your face if you don't you know if you don't want to be on you know if you don't want to be visible some people don't like that um, you know, I'm really self-conscious about some things about how I look, but I'm also like a people person. So, <laughs> so sometimes I forget, you know, the flaws in my, in my looks just because I'm so happy to spend time with other people. I'm not looking at the camera again. I'm looking at myself because I'm talking about how I look. And that's not to say I don't have low self-esteem, guys. I promise you. You don't need to boost me up by that. You don't need to tell me I'm pretty or wonderful or whatever. You know, that's not what I'm asking for. I really don't. You know, I, I'm i just a very, like, I don't know how to say it. I'm an optimistic, happy person, and I would rather laugh than cry. And I enjoy, you know, being happy and being joyous. Um, and it's not to say I don't get sad. It's not to say that there aren't things in my life that aren't happy things. But it's been my choice to be more happy when I do these videos and to not dwell on those things um, that make me, that, that take away my joy. I like to talk about the things that bring me joy. And sometimes, yes, I get on little rants about customer service and things, but I do try to be happy and be joyous. So, um, boy, I really went through a lot to just to say that if you don't want to be on the video in zoom, you don't have to be on. My question for you though, is I think there's a way for me to do a poll on my channel. I'm going to try to figure that out, uh, today or tomorrow or something. And if I can, you know, you just click on me and you can go to my channel and I think you can answer a poll question about a date and time for Zoom. Uh, right now, uh, Melanie from Stitch My Lou does one every Saturday night. It's at 8 o'clock her time, which is 7 o'clock Central, my time, um, Chicago time, whatever, uh, and then in the, in the evening. And then um, Brenda from My Pugful Life does one on Thursday mornings at 11 a.m. Central Time, which is her time. She's in Texas. So, uh, you know, you're welcome to join those. But I know that some of our international family, uh, it's, you know, it might not be a good time for them. You know, the 11 o'clock one might not be too bad, but I know the 7 o'clock at night means being up in the middle of the night. And I mean, if you want to be up in the middle of the night doing that, that's great. Uh, you know, we enjoy that. But if, uh, if, you know, this is for anybody to answer, what's a good day and time of the week? Um, you know, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to do it the same day every week just because of my schedule at work because I'm not off the same days every week. But I think we could probably pick one that I would be able to do most of the time. And then what happens if I'm not able to be there, you can still log on with my little number for my meetings and you guys can still get together and talk. Um, at this point, unless people just want me to, I'm not planning to record my meetings and post them on YouTube because I kind of like the freedom of us just being able to visit with one another. And if you say something that you don't want everybody, you know, in the YouTube community to hear, not, we don't get on there and cuss and swear and, and act like, you know, drunken louts or anything. But, you know, sometimes people might say something a little personal or, you know, they might even pop up and ask for a prayer request or something about something that, you know, they just don't want everybody to hear. So, uh, you know, at this point, I'm not planning to record them and post them just because. Uh, but get on there. Uh, 
if I can't make the poll, I'll get back on and just do a separate video where you guys can comment what you think a good date and time is. And we'll do it that way. Um, let me know. It was great to see you guys today. I know you you can see me and I can't see you, but I can see And I just covered my microphone with my hand. I can see you guys in my heart. Just remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we will see you later. Bye.